lovely dishers. It is time to dish with D. It's Thursday. I don't normally film on Thursday, but we're going to do another cookbook review. This was sent to me by a subscriber. Oops. Uh, Ellen almost knocked over my tea. Green tea. It's getting close to that. She got this when she rejoined WW and it was part of the package. Sometimes I give you cookbooks and cooking tools and some things. And she goes, I don't cook, but I know you do. And I thought you would appreciate this. So Ellen, you are so right. And I thank you so very much for this because I'm ecstatic. Oh, I have a recipe already planned out. And I figured today is my mother's, would have been my mother's 83rd birthday. And she is the one that instilled my love of cooking and my creativity because she let me experiment in the kitchen at a very young age where most parents would be like, no, mm -mm. I was cooking dinners at 15 mm -hmm. because my mother went back to work full time and I got home from high school. So she allowed me to utilize the kitchen and ingredients and always really loved what I prepared. So I thought, what a way to honor her on her birthday, then dedicate this video to her. And like I said, without her, I wouldn't be here probably well in more ways than one but wouldn't have such a love of creating and enjoying food and my mother was a fantastic cook she was a fantastic baker it's like she just knew how to create things and like I said no matter what she made it was always good I never really appreciated it much because it that's how I grew up so I always had it so I didn't realize what a good cook and baker she was until you know you just think uh, everybody's like that. Yeah, ain't so. Yeah, ain't so. So, Mom, this is for you. I hope I make you proud. So, this is called The Best of WW Volume 2. There it is. It is stunning. You know, it's a soft-bound book. And it is on the WW app in the store at WW. I looked on Amazon. I didn't see it there. But it is. I think it's $15.99 in the Weight Watcher store. So, if you, you know, wind up liking it and you want to purchase it, I don't recommend you purchasing cookbooks. Because a lot of these recipes you might be able to find on the app, but they are with the little doodaddy over there. So I love the doodaddy. That is the thing. I don't know what it's called, but it is a, does it say what it's called? Scan and track. It brings you to, the. it'll bring you to, you have to have the WW app. It'll scan it to your personal points. So I love that. Again, one of the few things WW got right was doing that. So, all right. This is volume two. There must have been a volume one. All right. What year was this made? Let's see if it gives you 2022. So it's brand new. Okay. Well, that looks good. Mexican elote corn pasta salad. <laughs> see what I love about cookbooks. And I'm, I'm, I think I've said this a million times. But I'll say it again. Is you don't have to make the recipe as it's written. What I like to do is read these, you know, and get an idea. And then it's all mixed up in my head. And then and most times when I'm asleep, that's where my best of my recipes come from. I wake up thinking of it. So it puts it all together. It gives you ideas. Like I would have never thought to put a corn elote salad with pasta. But man, that looks good. Mm. Okay. Contents. Introduction on the stovetop, from the oven, off the grill, with a gadget. No cooking required in an index. Ooh, I like the fact with a gadget. All right. It's giving you all about the program and about the zero point foods and how to figure out the values and decoding the book. But for some people, they might not know. You know, some of us old pros, you know, what the icons mean. There's a vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free. So, oh, on the stovetop. Let's read a few of those recipes, shall we? Mexican egg skillet, shredded Brussels sprouts with hot bacon dressing, <laughs> crispy pan fried noodles with stir fry vegetables, curried red lentil and pumpkin soup, orchetti with sausage and broccoli rabe, oh. tropical oats with chia seeds, oh, ho, ho. sorry, sauteed cod with tomatoes and olives, I love olives with fish, miso soup with tofu and shiitakes, chicken with cherry tomatoes and basil sauce, Pan roasted asparagus with fried capers, chicken, avamol. This is I'm going to butcher it. I apologize for my Greek people. Avamondolino. It's a cream of chicken soup, but it's Greek and it's always fabulous. We have a diner, or I should say, restaurant called Adelphia in Deptford. This is their signature soup because they're Greek. Love it. Turkey taco filling, Szechuan peanut noodles, stir-fried spicy ginger shrimp with sugar snaps. 
chicken and pasta puttanesca. Oh, love a good puttanesca. Ginger, sesame, green beans, Italian chicken soup with vegetables, risotto with asparagus and shrimp. There's the Mexican elote pasta salad, shiitake cheeseburger sliders. Ooh. It's ready with meat sauce, garden vegetable soup, shrimp and sauces, jambalaya, and quick crab pad thai. Let's see. Is there a picture for every recipe? Because I may be like Googling. I love, love when you get a recipe. Because sometimes we don't know what it's supposed to look like. I love that. To me, makes a fantastic recipe book when you have pictures. It tells you the serving size, the cook time, and the prep time. The per serving is giving you the serving, calories, the fat. Oh, that's good as all of that, which is nice. All the nutrition information is here. So, yeah, so I like that. Let's go to the next chapter. It'd be easier if I just go and look it up and try to, like, flip through. Because we could be here all day. You know, Denise and her cookbooks. All right, that was on the stovetop from the oven, 62. The thing butternut squash tart with candied pecans is what I opened to. I mean, you know, a lot of people use squash instead of pumpkin and things like that, so yeah, definitely can do that. Fresh feta and herb crusted tart, no, fresh feta and fresh herb tart, garlic herbed pork loin, chewy chocolate walnut cookies, baked ravioli with a marinara dipping sauce, flying steak sandwiches with avocado salsa, homemade granola. Don't we need that in our life? Sheet pan chicken fajitas with the works, chocolate chip cookies, buffalo cauliflower bites with blue cheese. I love buffalo cauliflower. I do. I think it's fantastic. I mean, bra I mean, cauliflower lends itself to a lot of good things and it really buffaloes well. Roasted salmon with chickpeas, zucchini, and red peppers. Drop cookies with, with brown sugar and spices. Mini pepperoni deep dish pizza. Fresh lemon lime squares. Butternut squash tart with oh, for that. avocado baked eggs with smoked salmon. Ravioli salad with balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, I gotta look at that. Sorry. I gotta squirrel for one minute. You know. I haven't looked at this yet. I only saw one cookie recipe because I was flipping through it. I didn't look at that salad. Oh, they bread them and they put it on a toss salad. How, How ingenious is that? I mean, seriously, they have three raviolis. I mean, that's just fantastic. If you're bored with your food, now I do suggest you get yourself one of these cookbooks because you're not making this kind of food and you should be eating this kind of food. Honey mustard roasted pork chops, no added sugar blueberry muffins, roasted baby potatoes with rosemary, Cuban slider sandwiches, harissa and yogurt chicken, no noodle vegetable lasagna, and lace cookies. You know I'm making the lace cookies. That's the ones I showed you. From the grill, 110. Oh, because I didn't show you, because I know I showed it on a lot. These are the ones I've been looking for. This is a crunchy oatmeal cookie. It comes to one point per cookie. Two cookies for three points. But they're using brown sugar and four tablespoons of light butter. Now, you could probably um, use mon um, monk fruit brown sugar and maybe cut the butter in half a little bit. Or, you know, we'll have to work with that. But just get rid of the brown sugar should help, at least. You know, in, in my opinion, anyway. So let's go to the grill. Grilled corn with smoked paprika, lime butter, summer steak salad with arugula and dill, grilled porks with nectarine salsa. Oh my God, we have local nectarines here that are fantastic. Grilled cabbage, Spanish pork skewers, kale Caesar salad with grilled shrimp, grilled skillet hash with eggs, Italian grilled chicken sandwiches, grilled beef with broccoli skewers, grilled salmon with mustard. These are so good if you have a grill, oh my gosh. Korean grilled chicken lettuce wraps. Oh, yes. I love anything Korean. Grilled steak top with arugula and parmesan. Oyster mushroom veggie skewers with lemon tahini drizzle. Cuban grilled black beans. Nacho burgers. Grilled eggplant parm. Grilled pineapple skewers with honey thyme glaze. Grilled lemon herb chicken. Grilled lasagna packets. And lemon dill Greek chicken salad. Oh, yeah. I'm this is what I'm saying. So if you're bored... You need to be eating like this. Oh, well, let's see what, what, the, what the gadget is. That's got me intrigued. Because you know your girl's got tons of gadgets. All right. With a gadget. Banana bread waffles. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I'm telling you, this is going to be my, probably my favorite chapter. 
Instant Pot Chicken Cacciatore. I'm not a huge fan of the Instant Pot because the chicken is a little chewy. I'm not going to lie. Air Fried Stuffed Mini Sweet Peppers. What are they stuffed with? <gasps> Cream cheese. Instant Pot Salmon with Melted Leeks and Miso Butter. Creamy Instant Pot Summer Squash Soup. Slow Cooker Chicken Tiki Masala. I've made that from the Hungry Girl. I mean, Pound Robert, it was fabulous. Mixed Nut Crunch. Air Fried Wonton Pizza Rolls. Oh, yeah. Slow Cooker Pork Chili Verde. That looks fantastic. Crunchy Onion Rings with Kefir Ranch Dressing. Kefir is that fancy, um, I think it's fancy yogurt. Shrimp and okra. I know I butchered it. <laughs> Shrimp and or okra gumbo. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I made some kind of a popcorn. Looks fantastic. S'mores popcorn. Seasoned air fried polenta fries. S'mores popcorn. Air fried okra for my okra fans. Chicken and white bean chili. Cheesy cauliflower waffles with a horseradish sauce. Like I said, well, this would not be my meal, but what a side dish. And you're getting your veggies in. Oh, sign me up. Instant Pot Cauliflower Potato and Bacon Bisque. Slow cooker. Just remember, it is cauliflower. And it's not going to taste like it's not. So as long as you have that in your head, you won't you won't mind it. Slow cooker Thai Red Curry Chicken. Corned beef and winter veggies. That's going in a slow cooker. I really don't like my corned beef in a slow cooker. Turkey Kielbasa Stew with White Beans and Swiss Chard. Oh, yes. Beef carnita tacos. All right. These are no cooking required. Mediterranean salad pita pockets, chicken and grape salad, gingerbread and ice cream, heirloom tomato sandwiches with basil mayo, endive citrus salad, Dijon tarragon vinaigrette. Need to make that. Strawberry rose sangria. Need to make that. <laughs> Fresh corn and black bean salsa. Already make that. Raspberry yogurt pops, watermelon caprese salad. I like that, but sometimes the watermelon lets off a lot of water and it's just a little bit messy. <clears throat> Easy spinach parmesan dip, sounds delish. Barbecue chicken and corn slaw, banana mango nice cream, spiked peach lemonade, salmon, cucumber, and mint sandwiches, watermelon, cucumber skewers with fresh mint and feta, no cooked tomato barbecue sauce. That sounds intriguing. Carrot and cucumber ribbons with peanut sauce, tiramisu, Lentil, cucumber, and smoked trout salad. Oh, that sounds fabulous. Italian tuna and artichoke and terramazzini. Terramazzini? Hmm. Snack board lunch. Let's go to that salad real quick. We don't want to be here too long. I do appreciate you guys watching. These are a passion of mine cookbooks, so I love doing a review. That's interesting looking salad. Oh, well, mayonnaise, capers, mustard, lemon zest, salt, black pepper, stirring tuna, and, and artichokes. Divide tuna sandwich between two slices of bread. Top each sandwich with one slice of remaining bread. Cut each sandwich in half on an angle. Oh, I don't know why it's called. It's interesting though. Nice fun way to make a fun tuna sandwich. You know, like I said. That's that snack board lunch. That's always fun to do. A little, what, you know, we used to just call picky plates. And um, my mom always called um, pepperoni and cheese. And now called a um, charcuterie. And here's the lentil, cucumber, and smoked trout salad. So, yeah, there's a lot. Like I said, if you're bored, this keeps you on plan because it's fabulous food made in an ex you know, made to feel elevated. And when you're eating elevated food, you don't feel like you're on a diet. You feel like you're on a weight loss journey. This is how you should be cooking. And remember, when you when you scan the little doodad, <laughs> well, somebody's gonna keep telling me what it is, but I never remember what it is. But when you scan that, it'll bring it to, to your, w, if you have WW, in your app, and you can make adjustments in there and save it. Genius. Again, they got that right too. Like I will scan that cookie and change out the sugar and then save it. It's genius. Like I said, some things they get right. Not a lot, but some things. So I like to give them credit when credit is due. So I love to see volume one, but I'm telling you, this um, volume two is fabulous. So if you're on the fence and we're thinking of getting it, gives it five thumbs up, but you know I would. 
I have not met a cookbook I don't like, honestly. I just love things that give me interesting ideas that I could take somewhere else. And that's what it's all about. So yeah, I want to flip through this a little bit harder and get some ideas and really try to incorporate them into my dinners. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join our community. We do fun things here like cookbook reviews. We have a challenge. We're very highly supportive. The community is fabulous here. I cannot recommend this community enough and it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with everybody that subscribes and joins in our lives and the Facebook community as well. Listen down below, Dish With These Crew. You will join there. You will say, where, have, where has this group been all my life? Uh, where's it been all my life? I don't know. But yeah, they're fabulous, wonderful people. So they will support you any way they can. So I, without further ado, I'm going to head on out, upload, and I will see you probably for my way in on Saturday. It should be my next video. I don't plan to upload anything more, but one never knows. So have a great rest of your day. And thanks for watching. And we will dish another day, my lovelies. Take care.